so did the 14 day tikka challenge bring about any change in my super ad arwana hey what's up guys this is avishek here from aroflix and in today's video we are going to talk about what happened to the 14 day challenge or the two week challenge that i took up using aro 10 lights on my elkindor red and see if there is any significant difference that the aro 10 lights may have brought about to my elkindor red so before we get started if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, bell icon ko bhi daba dijiyega taki aap future ke videos bhi dekh paaye theek hai i am going to take you basically through uh you know what i have done and then i'll show you video comparison of uh, of video from two weeks before to now and uh, at the end of the video i'll give you my verdict whether i think the tika ro 10 is a good light to enhance your super red colors okay to chali shuru karte hain hmm so uh, about two weeks ago that was uh, uh the last to last uh, to last witness day is when i had started this challenge i had put up a post in aropedia saying that i'm taking up the two week challenge and i had put up the video of my elkindor red uh stating that uh, this is uh, what it looks like now and i'm going to start the tanning so i did 12 hours of tanning over the next 14 days religiously every single day i started out at around say uh, i i think about uh, If I'm not wrong, at about seven o'clock in the morning till about seven o'clock in the evening, and after that I use the color applied just to you know for viewing purposes. So what did the seven a.m. to seven p.m. tanning do to my arona? So let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at the comparison, and then I will walk you through uh, what I feel uh, has happened. Okay, so let's see. So here is uh, what I'm showing you uh, is the comparison. So the one on top left hand corner is from 14 days back, and the one on the bottom right hand corner is uh, current, which is after two weeks. Now, if you see uh, besides the algae which has grown in the tank, which we'll talk about later, if you see the couple of things has happened in my opinion through my naked eyes. What I can see is one, I feel the intensity of color on the gill plates have slightly improved. Along with that. i also see if you look at the rims of the scale the spread has somewhere increased it the color intensity also seems to have slightly improved but mostly i see a lot of the spread has increased the the color spread over the scale the rims have become slightly thicker there is there is more color on the rims so mainly two two things that i can see uh, that i'm showing you now one is the gill plates seem to have increased uh, ever so slightly in terms of the color intensity and the spread of the rims of the scale can be seen a little better if you see now i'm showing you this current video which has been taken after two weeks of tanning and clearly it seems like there has been some improvement in color and also there has been this improvement in spread of uh, the 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 overall scales the rims have become a lot more thicker so so yes so we can see as you can see i'm showing you the video continuously as you can see that there is some amount of uh, difference uh, in how it was before compared to what has happened after two weeks of tanning so i've done a uh, tikka light tanning from both sides from front and back it may not be the exact same situation that you will be having you may be doing only from the front glass which is good enough in my opinion because that's what has been told to me by tika you can have one light from front and that's good enough i just had an extra one so i put it from the back glass as well so like you have seen that there has been a little bit more in terms of spread and a little bit more in terms of intensity of color mainly seen on the gill plate so yes i can say that there has been a slight difference in coloration in the 14 days of 12 hours standing that i have done now let's talk about what i feel about the whole exercise Now see I am not a big fan of tanning using big lights and you know uh, uh, having the lights fall on the face of my arwana and all of those things because mine is a pretty big arwana and I have not really tanned him so much I think he's just doing fine even without the tanning and also all those things uh so basically what I feel about this whole exercise is that ab 14 din ki tanning ki hui hai usme ye thoda bahut percentage thoda sa improvement aaya hai वो अच्छी बात है वी ऑल फील गुड वेन आर आर वन आर कलर्स इम्प्रूव बट इज इट वर्थ हैविंग टू डू दिस फ्यू थिंग्स वन यू नो कॉन्स्टेंट ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ ब्राइट लाइट ऑन द फेस ऑफ योर आर वन आर इज इट यू नो समथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू नंबर टू आई हैड अ लॉड ऑफ एलगे 
I mean, the tank had literally turned green and pretty quick huh? in three, four days, it was turning green. So of course that proves that it's got a lot of UVA, UVB and it's very bright and good quality lights and all of that is great. But the algae was just too much. The, the lights themselves was getting covered in green algae and the water was getting greener, the glass, it was just getting a lot of algae. So that's the second thing. The third thing is though I have not seen my electricity bill, but my guarantee is that it will be very big. I don't know exactly what is it, but I think it's pretty high, it's a T5, so what is it will be more than that. So two of these lights I have put in place, so I guess the electricity bill is going to be also higher. So three things, one, subjecting your arowana to such bright lights for 12 hours a day, two, algae problem, three, electricity bill. Are you willing to handle these three nuisance values, you may say, in return, to get some improvement in calibration. Of course, I can say, I cannot guarantee, but I can say that yehi agar regime hum 12 ghante wala jo humne 14 din ka kiya, if we continue for the next 3 or 6 months, I think the colors will significantly increase. But, is it something that you want to do? Is a big question that do you want to go through those 3 things as a bargain to improving your Arwana's color? Also, we must remember, Arwana ki jo color hoti hai na, wo sirf light ke upar depend nahi karti. Wo multiple other things are also involved. Yeh water quality, kya filtration hai aapka, kya khana kilaate ho Arwana ko, kitna water changes karte ho, water quality kya rehta hai, water ke parameters kya hai. To yeh bhot saari chizhe usko factor karti hai along with lights. Thik hai? Or genes, very importantly. How is the gene and quality of your Arwana, wo bhi matter kar jata hai. To yeh saare variables to hai, uske upar aap yeh light laga rahe ho. And then you are, of course, you are going to get the results. Uh, whether it's going to meet your expectations or not is a different thing but yes improvement to hona hai which is fine kitna difference of improvement hai compared to all the headache that you have to take is something it's a bargain and it's something you have to decide ki aapko ye karna hai ki nahi karna hai i personally am not like i said i'm not a big fan of tanning so i may not be using it for too often kabhi kabhar mein use kar liya karunga but i believe that the red that i have is of very good quality and it should get the color on its own so my verdict is yes Tika tanning lights RO10 does have some impact on the color of your Arwana but in the bargain there are certain things that you may not want to have uh, happening in your tank or even in your electricity bills. So you have to decide how you want to do it. But all in all, it's a good light, can be used but there are certain caveats around it. Okay, so this was the challenge of Tika's light. You are going to join on the International Aquatic Society. You are going to join on the rules. You are going to join on the rules. If you win, you will get a color of light free. So, if you are having Tika RO10, you want to do the tanning lights, you want to do the tanning lights, you want to do the tanning lights, if you are having Tika RO10, you want to do the experiment, the challenge, then you can win yourself a color of light. Okay, so this was my verdict as far as Tika lights are concerned, RO10 lights are concerned rather. And for today, it's so much. Thank you so much for watching. Till I come back in the next one. Peace.